Hey guys, Brody here. Welcome back to Diesel Brothers Truck Building Simulator. Here we are for part number two. Um, our premiere and our um, first episode went really well, so I'm going to continue on. God, the mouse is really going to continue on with um, playing some more. Look, sensitivity. I might drop it down to 0.45 maybe. Um, confirm. Yes. That was well, still pretty sensitive, but anyway. Um, we'll go into our orders. So... More difficulty is easy. Highway to diesel. Body of the truck has no secrets for you, so it's time to get deep into the chassis. It's time, this time you'll buy the lift and replace some parts from underneath the car. When it, when it'll be done, you'll add some crazy hot rod decals from the decal shop and add a finishing touch. Okay, confirm. Back out of here. Oh god, this. It wasn't like that last. Last time. Let's go. Point three five. a bit better all right beautiful looking truck um buy lift in pc uh management there we go upgrades um get rid of that we want to buy a lift for four thousand dollars um yep buy that wouldn't mind buying that too we've got plenty of money uh, actually no we've only got 15 grand left now well, that was 40,000. I thought it was 4,000. <laughs> oh, oh, well. Um, now what do we want to do? Lift the car. Okay, well, how do we do that? Over here. Uh, let's go E. Oh, you got to hold it in. That's quite cool. Um, I'm going to lift it right up, just in case. Get underneath. Have a good look around. Alright, so open map and go to the scrapyard. Right, it'll be better if it the um each mission or each part of the mission come up on the screen somewhere. Instead of having to press tab for come up on the screen, it'll be so much easier. Like the top left hand corner or just like a little note somewhere. When you've completed that th that part of the job, it'll give you the next rundown, especially for the tutorial stuff. It'll be a lot better. Uh, so then you press tab, add front right rotor splash to your bucket. Wow, front right rotor splash, left exhaust catalyst. Um, we need to show the details. No, front right rotor splash. Um, Vessel left catalyst. It's not what we want, is it? Exhaust left exhaust catalyst. Let's go add the car. Is that right? Well, well, that, that's right. Uh, we need right rotor splash. That's right. Rotor splash shields right next to each other. Well, that that was pretty easy, wasn't it? Bathroom. Don't need to go into there. Um, yes, we'll buy both those for a thousand dollars. Upgrades. Um, what do we have here? Enlarged junkyard, better prices, better scrap quality, more cars. Oh, that's pretty cool. So you can open, unlocks, opens locked area in the junkyard. That is pretty cool. Didn't realize I'd be able to actually um, do this sort of thing. Let's buy it. Why not? Which part did it unlock? Let's go. We need to throw these in the trailer. Donk. The mouse is still a little bit touchy, but anyway. Um, yes. Open map and go to garage. Not just yet. Um, didn't open that side. Which side did it open? What does it say? Investments. Okay. Ah, through here. So it's opened like a whole nother level. So we actually got... I wonder if we can get um, whole cars and stuff from here. I'm assuming we can eventually. Probably not right now, but eventually. I assume this is going to be um, a similar thing when Junkyard Simulator comes out. It's going to be like a similar sort of setup. There's no cars around but there's tires and rims and uh oh that's a pretty cool hood. All that sort of stuff. Anyway let's go back to 
the garage. Loading times aren't too bad. Well, that was pretty quick. Um, unscrew and unmount right front wheel. See, that should come up on the screen somewhere. We shouldn't have to go into there. Uh, right front wheel. Let's go unscrew. Can't reach because we're too far away. Um, let's, can we lower it down a little bit? There we go. It might help a little bit. Throw you over there for a second. Let's drop you there. Um, pick you back up. Unscrew and unmount right front wheel support. Which, uh, the wheel support. Oh, there we go. So that's, doesn't look like the wheel support to me. I don't know. Still not a fan of how um, some of this stuff works. Now what do we need to do? Unscrew the right front brake, which is easy here. So we should have to click on the brake caliper and then only have those two um, bits available. Do we have to take brake pads out? No. Unscrew and unmount right front rotor disc. We don't really need to unscrew it, it's already unscrewed. Right front rotor splash. It tells you what you've actually clicked on down the bottom, which is helpful though. That's kind of really helpful. All right, drop that down. Now, mount and screw front right rotor splash. The new one, I'm assuming. I don't know why we had to get a new one. Uh, pick you up. Right mouse click to screw it back in. There we go. And now it says, yeah, rotor disc. So the rotor disc can go on. That can go on. Can we chuck this on? We can. Awesome. So we can screw a couple of things in at the same, like, throw a couple of things on before we screw them in, which works pretty well. All right, so one thing that I've always done um, in real life is when I'm putting something back on, crisscross, same as when you're doing your tyre. Putting your tyre on, don't go around with your nuts, go crisscross. So I'll sh can we put... What the hell? <laughs> um, that's weird. Um, so like this. So instead of going around, go from here, like a cross pattern, and don't fully do them up straight away. Like do them up so they're sort of nipped up, but not fully done. And then once they're all nipped up, then you can start tightening them. Um, unscrew and unmount left exhaust catalyst. So the left exhaust cat, which we need to go up a little bit higher, I think. So this is the left um, exhaust cat there and there. Um, has it got, there should be other screws in here. I would have thought. Is that? Yep, that's out. Okay. I thought there would have been more screws than just those, but anyway. Or bolts, not screws, bolts. Okay, put you in. So I like how they're red, though. So we probably didn't have to undo these. I personally would think we'd have to, but anyway, buy four big tires. Okay, well, let's drop you down. These guys, I think we can just sort of throw over here and sell. Uh, part shop sell. Uh, sell all of you. Done. Let's go back. Buy tires. 
Uh, just says big tires. Does it matter? Just buy four big tires. Okay, let's go buy tires. We don't really want sport, do we? We want off road uh, search type. Off road. No, it doesn't matter. Price. We'll go from cheapest. Actually, see, now it's got this here. I think that might mean that it suits the car. I don't know. Let's go buy. Yes. Two, three, four. Whoop. Unmount for small tyres. Which we should have to use the tyre machine, which is somewhere. Um, I thought we had a time machine somewhere, maybe not. That's not a cool way of unmounting the tyres. Mount four big tyres, which take up quite a lot of room, but anyway. Probably need a rim change too, I reckon. But that looks much better. The stance will be a lot better. It'll be good when we can actually start buying our own cars and um, customising how we want them to be. Pretty awesome. Lower the car. Gonna keep looking at it. You can't just hold it and look away. Um, transfer car to decal shop. Okay, so we'll go over to here. I don't know if I want to sell the tyres, but I guess there's no point in leaving them there, is there? Yeah, we'll sell all of them. Uh, let's go management, transfer, you to the decal shop. Alright, now we should have to go to the decal shop. Place five hot rod decals. So we go to the decal shop. Might take a little bit longer to load this time because it's our first visit. Um, so. I would think it will take a little bit longer to load. Sort of if you if you come into the game and load in and out of different places, it might be a bit quicker, but the first initial load might take a little bit of time, but it's still not going to be too bad, I hope. Then again, it's, it's taken a bit longer than I expected. So the game has a lot of potential. Um, I think we sort of would just have to um, keep an eye on it and see how it goes. Um, hot rod. Ooh, okay. We sort of have to. Can we go oh, back? There you go. American flag. Scale. Um, Can we actually um, switch scale lock position? Scale. Rotation opacity. We don't need none of that stuff. Um, apply decal. Oop, go back. Can we rearrange? No. Can we? No. Okay. I was hoping we could like sort of mirror image it. Hot rod, um, this one. We did white, didn't we? Um, scale. Could probably work out um, how big the other one was. Let's go apply decal. Um, quick note go to this one and go select sticker, which is that one. Ah, what's going on here? Where is it gone? There, select, select. Uh, 442, okay, done. It's that one. That one, 442. 
and we can't. Ooh. I didn't want it on this side, I want it on the other side. Uh, okay. Now this is quite weird. Uh, left. Default. That one. That one. Um, why is this doing this? What position? I don't know. Let's just... Done. So they're done. Now let's go front, new, hot rod. We'll go hot rod. Uh, we'll do it white. Position it down to there. That'll do. I'm not even that concerned at the moment. Uh, diesel power. We'll go white. We'll scale it right up a fair bit. Position it down to here, and we'll rotate it, and apply, we'll go back, we'll go the back, we'll go hot rod, um, nothing that really stands out for the back, maybe this one, let's go position, I think right in the centre is not too bad, let's just scale it down a little bit. There, there we go. Done. Oops. Um, exit to map. Go back to the garage. So it should be quick to load into here now. Not a fan of how those decals work. Transfer car back to the garage. A little bit of work they could probably do there. Um, let's go decals from here to the garage. Done. Finish the order. So, done. It doesn't look that great, to be honest. Um, the tyres are sort of sitting into the ground a little bit, which is kind of weird, but... Alright, so we can go finish order. You've made it. You've completed our tutorial. Now you can play the game for free. Or freely, not for free. New orders are spawning regularly, so check your laptop to get the hottest one. Awesome. Um... So playground, off-road race, drag race, painting, auction. Let's go and have a look at the auction. Uh, 2206. And, 22 and right. Auction is closed. Return between 22 and 6. So 10 o'clock and 6. Okay, let's go and have a look at the scrapyard then. See if we can um, purchase a car, maybe, our own. Pretty cool if we could buy our own and then sell it somehow I'm sort of learning as we go now um, go into here we'll go into upgrades so we can't so we need to get that to get that yes you can find more car wrecks in the junkyard yes okay um, Can't see any wrecks at the moment. Game saved, cool. It's like hoods and stuff, but I don't know if the cars are another part of the junkyard. Or what? It's a big truck up there. So we'll run around through this side and see. Oh, there's like definitely. What the hell is that? It's like a drag racing parachute. Um, certainly no cars here at all. It's a shame. It's taken a while to load as well, which is loading the textures and stuff, which is quite weird. Um, I wonder if we sort of have to go jump the fence, no, go into there or something to get um, more wrecks and stuff. There's more sort of cars, spaces up top there. I don't know, I don't even know if it's even implemented yet to be honest. So um, let's have another look at the upgrades. 
better scrap, can find more cars, 100,000. Enlarge the junkyard. So we've got to sort of, these things sort of unlock other things. More profit share. Large junkyard tier two. So you sort of got to unlock as you go along, which is quite cool. Right, anyway, let's go back to the garage because we're not quite time yet to go into the auctions. Let's see what jobs are available. Um, marketing. Um, campaign. I don't know what we're doing here. Did you know? Um, I'll probably look at some of these stuff later on, I guess. I'm not quite sure why would need merchandise and that sort of stuff but giveaway we don't want to give away a truck we don't even own one yet let's get our orders um, price we're not making much money um, paint the hood observatory and mount it to the car paint the doors um, this one says it's hard, but it's probably not that hard. Let's go confirm. Um, so, we'll take the doors off and paint them observatory, which we can do reasonably easily. Right. Unscrew those. Come around the other side, unscrew this. So, as I said, one thing I'd like is to click on the door and then give you the screws that we need to actually um, take off not have like all these other screws along here like this all right and if you, just, you just have to click you don't have to hold it I've been holding it the whole time I just realized you just have to click which is nice and easy all right um, undo you undo you Deadline is the 8th of the 1st. Oh, so we've got plenty of time. Whoa. Jesus. New order's been added and we've just thrown the door for miles. There's still a little bit of um, optimization to be done, of course. See, some things are kind of rendered in really well. Other things are quite blurry. I'll take these um, doors off as well. Take that off. So I think that's payment for the job. I think um, go to the paint shop. Um, what am I trying to say? Payment for the job is that amount, but every time we buy a new part, I think they pay for the purchase of the new part as well. Maybe. I'm not quite sure. Um, right, throw the door over onto here. Grab the paint into here. We need to go to observatory. Um, select, right click to fill it with observatory, make our spray the full size 2 and um, spray away. Spray the doors all around the top, keep an eye on the part paint progress, there we go. It hasn't gone yet, but I feel like that's done. Pretty sure it is. All right, um, put you there for now. We don't want to throw it uh, back in the trailer yet. It's quite interesting music. Uh, refill our gun. Come on, a little bit more. There we go. Done. Drop you down as well. Pick up the door. Throw you on. It's quite easy to do this, but it, it, it is really, really cool as well. 
I, I really enjoy the whole painting and sandblasting process. It really is something quite small, really, that they've added to the game. It's still quite cool. Which bit did we miss? It's the hardest bit to see what part we actually missed. There we go. Um, so it won't tell us, it just says, says to paint it and mount it to the car. So probably um, won't come up as it being finished until it's actually fully painted and mounted to the car. There we go. Let's throw that actually on the trailer. We've got a little bit of room now. Do we have to fill this again or will we get away with it? It's 40%, so maybe. If we're lucky and we paint right. I don't think so. I think we're going to have to fill it again. Ah, so close. It's 200 bucks every time, but still not done there we go put the gun back before we leave throw these guys back on here it's probably not a good idea throwing them around when they're being freshly painted but anyway um, is that everything there's a no there's a, sorry, there's a door missing but no there's not um, alright go back to the garage we're nearly ready to go to the auction not that I know what we're going to find there Right, I'll throw the hood back on. The doors. It's the right front door. Left front door. It's good how there is a timer as well, like a deadline. Like the person wants it done, you know, in a certain amount of time. So we need to get it done. Where do we put? There we go. So where do we put our impact driver? All right, well, so let's put that on. Let's see if it. Yep, let's cross it out. Oh, good. Uh, new order available. So only so much we're going to be able to do. We could probably take orders that don't have a time limit. Um, there is multiplayer as well. I don't think it's up and running yet, but um, that'll be quite interesting too to sort of have a shop like this and have a certain um, amount of people working with you so we can have our own you know diesel truck workshop with you guys jumping in and helping out would be pretty cool I think throw that down so we need to rear frame mount new rear frame and tire need some tires okay so part shop uh, body, where's the frame? Rear frame? Where's the rear frame? What does it mean by rear frame? Lift parts. Is it a rear frame bar? Um, mount new rear frame from the shop. Um, I've seen you on TV. It looks like you're working. You're making the best trucks ever. I'd like you to hire you. It is not installing regular cab, regular bed with eight inches lift. My road to work is so bad. I need the biggest tire you have. Maybe the ride will be a bit smoother. Can you do something with this paint? Um, do 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 do. This spun pearl. All right, let's see. Observatory. I think that the rear frame is broken. Can you take a look and exchange it for a working one? Okay. Part shop. Buy. Oh, so it's in here. There we go. Um, search. Compatibility. So we need a rear frame. Mid. Rear. Um, oof. Steel. Reinforced. Golden or Titan? We'll go Titan. Titan sounds good. Right, if we go back... You can see it's got it here. Body, door. We don't need to buy them. We've already got them. Uh, wheels. 
He wants either off-road or normal ones. Um, is there a timer? Are they all the same price? No, they're all different prices. So we'll try these ones. Two, three, four. Um, so we've got to wait for the delivery now. Bit of a pain. Um, yep, let's go. Auction. Go to the auction and see what happens. So time has just gone off, so we'll get this job done. Oof, we'll see what happens. Condition is good though. Entry costs. Ah, to have a look. Minimum price. Entry cost to sell what? E buy. Let's go E. Okay, so next bid. So it's got a sort of. I don't know why. Um, Forty-four thousand. There you go. Minimum price. Next bid thirty-one and a half. We don't have enough money anyway. Uh, next. So next bid twenty-one thousand. We can bid a little bit. Not that we're going to have much money. Probably not. <laughs> not a good idea to maybe bid. Um, they're still. They're all too good a condition. Really, fifty-four thousand highest bid, twenty-seven thousand. Maybe it's because we um uh, passed it a little bit. Maybe that's the reason why. Anyway, let's go back and see if we can't wait for this stuff to be delivered. I don't know if there's a way that we can um, like pass time. I don't think so. Oh, decorations, barrels, barriers, bins, chairs. That is pretty cool. Shelves, pallets, miscellaneous, machines. I don't even know what that was. Uh, what is it? It's like a vacuum cleaner or something. I don't know. Liquids and sprays, ladders, junk, crates. Right, so we're still waiting for things to come in. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Um, heaps of orders available. Normal. Now there's still... We've got a time limit. I don't want to do more than one thing at a time, really, at this point in time. We need a way to skip time, to like fast forward a bit of time. Now these aren't rendering in very well, which isn't good. Hurry up. The rear frame, which is going to be quite interesting, so we need to lift this up. Um, it's still struggling to sort of render in, which is weird. Um, pick you up. So is that unscrew... Screw the bed. We want the whole rear frame though, which is here. I don't know how we're going to replace this guy. Okay, our tires have been delivered, which is good. Yep. These guys haven't rendered in either, which is quite disappointing. Alright, throw these guys out of the way. It's a bit of noise then when it bounced. <laughs> Alright, I'm not quite sure. Um, what we're going to have to do with the rear frame, we're going to have to pull this thing off. I think the tyres, we'll probably be able to sell the tyres back because um, we don't really have like a storage. We should, should be able to buy like a tyre rack and store them, but we can't sell, um, sell uh, trucks. Okay, so we can buy trucks and stuff. Awesome. And the lowest price. Um, we can buy this one. Let's go buy. Yes. Why not? Car's been delivered to the backyard. 
how are we going to get this whole rear frame off? Um, mount reframe from the shop. All right, let's go to the backyard and have a quick look. I haven't been here yet, so we'll have a quick look. Um, I might get the reframe of that done off camera because it might take us a little while. I want to end the episode. We're already hit half an hour, so um, yeah. If you guys have enjoyed this one, as always, smash that like button. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think of the series so far. If you're new to the channel and haven't subscribed yet, guys, please do so. It's been Bruno. Thanks for watching. See you again soon.